Mm. Y'all, we yeah. finna get into this video. But this QT ice, huh? Don't eat that ice like you eat the weed. You heard me say, mm. <laughs> Yo, this ice is so good. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia Louise. For those of you that don't know, and if you do know and you are returning, what's poppin'? How are you? So today we are having a tea talk. And by the title of this video, you already know what I'm gonna be talking about. Okay, I'm gonna be talking about singleness, relationships, marriages, my views and perspectives regarding them. Um, because you guys wanted to know. And so we're gonna get into it. So I think I'm gonna probably break this up into a couple of different parts. One, me and my sister was talking about this topic last night and um, we've talked about this on our Instagrams before. And so I'm gonna bring her on to talk about this with us. So that'll be a tea talk um, part whatever uh, comes soon. And um, also I wanna kind of break up what I think and why I think, you know, regarding singleness. It's so easy for us to try to um, get our point across regarding our perspectives. Um, and I want to be very open and transparent with my perspective, but I also want to be very um, understanding of maybe your perspective. So if you have a perspective that's contrary or different than mine, um, definitely comment those down below. I love to have conversations with everyone in my comment section. So if there's ever anything that I say that you're like, hmm, I never thought about it that way, or hmm, have you tried thinking about it this way? Please, I love those type of comments. Um, drop those down below. So starting with what I used to think about being single and being in a relationship or even being married or getting married, whatever the case may be. So first I wanna say I was a part of a very toxic, manipulative um, church background for many of years. So the way in which I thought about relationships, marriages, singleness and stuff like that was very, um, como se dice wrong. <laughs> pretty much it was the wrong way um i did not think that women could and not even just women but because i'm a woman i'm gonna only speak from a woman's perspective me the woman um but i didn't think that i could be a well versed woman of god and still be single like if I was single, that meant something was wrong with me. I wasn't doing something according to God's word. I wasn't living out his truth or something. Like something was wrong with me. And it wasn't the fact that maybe God just has me hidden for a certain purpose or for a certain season and X, Y, and Z. So I would find myself getting into these situationships or these relationships, craving and desiring for the end goal to be marriage because I felt like if you were married or once you got married, that meant you got a stamp of approval from God being like, boom, you got the golden ticket. You are the prize. You got the you got the the biggest prize ever, you know, the grand finale. Boom, now your life can start. You know what I'm saying? And it took a lot of debunking that mindset. It took a lot of me stripping away the um, toxic uh thoughts or or even the trauma regarding relationships that i've built up over the years um not just because of my previous um ministry that i was a part of but also like certain things that i just grew up with you know certain um family dynamics um that i didn't grow up seeing or things that i would see in the movies that i tried to correlate to what i was actually living out in my life and did not see yeah i used to think that you know you had to be a certain at a certain status in order to you know enter into a realm of 
marriage or whatever the case may be and if you were single it was honestly your fault and not anything else and um yeah obviously that was completely wrong and that is not true at all my perspective on being in a relationship or being single nowadays is simply if god has it for me it is for me if i do not have it it's not for me i say this all the time so a scripture that always comes to mind whenever i'm thinking of that is psalm 84 11 and it says for the lord is the sun and shield the lord will give grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly and so for me no matter what i think or try to conjure up in my head God will never withhold any good thing from me. If it's good for me, I will have it. If I don't have it, that means it's not good for me. Relationship included. Friendship included. Job included. Um, house included. Um, whatever. Car. You know what I'm saying? Like so many different things. So I do not walk around thinking, oh my gosh, I'm unmarried. I am this piece of dookie you know what i'm saying like i legit am just like listen if it's for me it's for me if it's not that's okay like it does not have to be right now like i will have my time my season is coming um you know it is what it is also i want to say um i went on my story and i asked you guys to ask me some questions regarding this topic so i'm gonna try to incorporate those a little bit as i can in the video so one of the questions um was do you think people are called to be single and my answer to that is i don't know you know i feel like a calling is something that's between you and god and so I've not necessarily, I don't know that I've read about that in the scripture, and I don't know that I've read about a certain person being called to singleness, you know, within the Bible. Um, but I have heard, you know, many people, um, or not many, I'm not going to lie. I've heard some people um, say that they feel that they've been called to a life of singleness, um, and that they're not going to try uh, to get married or remarried or whatever the case may be. Um, and for that, if that is what God told you, or if that is what you're feeling is from the Lord, then go for it. You know what I'm saying? I personally feel called to be a wife. <laughs> so I do not subscribe to that lifestyle. But for those of you that do subscribe to that lifestyle, go absolutely crazy. What does the Bible say? He reigns on the just and the unjust and let every man work out their own salvation. So here's my thing. If that is for you, that's for you. And you do it well over there. I personally am going to do what I got to do over here. I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. Next question. <laughs> um, and then she also asked, do you have thoughts on people choosing to be single? And I basically just answered it. Like, whatever you feel like is best for you, I want you to do wholeheartedly. Um, I want you to be sold out to whatever it is that you're doing. Because you never want to get to a place where you realize that you're doing something unto somebody else. And you're doing something for somebody else. Um, because that is not okay. Um, kind of going back to what I was saying about, you know, the toxic church that I was a part of, um, and some of the ideas or the thoughts that I had regarding relationships and stuff like that. Um, it kind of, it also boiled down to certain people choosing to do certain things within their lives and trying to manipulate others to think the same way and do the same thing. I don't think that that's beneficial for anybody. We're all our own selves. So take care of what you need to for yourself, period. Um, and also the notion of thinking that once you've gotten married, you've arrived at something that, we have to also debunk that. I think when we say that or when we tell other women that, we're also kind of like dumbing down or talking down them and their life and their experiences or what they have accomplished. Like I feel very, very blessed to be able to travel and to not have to worry about getting up at 6 a.m. because I have to make my husband lunch before he goes to work or I have to get up and get get my kids together for school. Like at this point, that is not the season that God has called me to. So I am 
totally okay with that. But on the contrary, if I were to continue thinking, oh my gosh, because I haven't done X, Y, and Z, I'm not good enough or I'm not this woman that I'm supposed to be and da 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 I would then dumb down the fact that God has blessed me with a beautiful job that allows me to travel, um, an amazing um, network of people that bless me. Um, our trip that we went on to for New York and to Boston, all like a lot of the trips that I've gone on this past year have been paid for and not by me. I'll say that one more time. A lot of these trips that I've gone on have been paid for and not by me. And that's because the favor of the Lord is upon my life. And if I were to think in a negative way of like, oh man, I'm not doing enough or I'm not blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't look at the blessings that God has given me as blessings that he's given me. And then also the notion of, um, you know, dumbing down yourself so that you don't seem like you're competing with other, like literally just live your life. Subscribe to whatever lifestyle you want to subscribe to and rock it out, honestly, truly, please. Um, another question, would I choose to be single? I already answered that, no. I would definitely choose to be a wife and a mother. I know that right now I would like want to be a mom and I would want to be a wife. I need to fix the way I say that. I say mom first all the time, but that's just because I love children so much, but obviously it's, it's obvious I need a husband to have the child, but you know, I would love to be a wife and to be a mother. So that's a no, a hard no, an easy no for me. <laughs> I would not choose to be single. Uh, okay, someone else asked, what is your best life lesson learned in this single season? Um, kind of going back to what I just said about experiencing like these new, like traveling and things like that. Um, the best lesson that I've learned is to see every single day as a blessing and to enjoy that blessing. To not dumb that blessing down because I don't want to seem like I'm bragging to somebody or to not minimize what God is doing or what God has done in my life. Um, because at the beginning and the end of the day, of the day um, I didn't have to or don't have to have the things that I have. But because my father, my heavenly father, decided to gift me those things, um, I have a beautiful testimony that I'm able to share, that I'm able to um, bring people along on um, the journey of what God is trying to do in my life and in my world. And um, I'm excited because I'll be able to tell my kids these beautiful stories of what God has done in my life in this single season, you know? Um, I've always dreamed of going to New York and I've always wanted to have a best friend that I have in Genesia and the fact that I got to have the best friend like that I've always dreamed of having in my sister and we both got to go to New York together that is like absolutely crazy and I can only wish and bless and pray for my children's friends that they would find a friend um that they would find a friendship like Genesia and I have found in one another um because friends are hard and life is hard and um, I think that's ultimately why I would want to be married because I would want to have that forever friend. That's one friendship that like, it, it's not going anywhere unless there's like divorce and stuff like that, which God forbid, but um, you know, like you, people just want companionship and to feel loved and to, to feel treasured and to be wanted and to be chosen every single day. And so that's why I would want to be in a marriage. Um, but I'm blessed that even if that does not get to happen, um, God has blessed me with beautiful family and beautiful friends. And um, I get to at least know that through his love for me, I am loved and I am chosen and I am picked every single day um, out of a sea of people. God still picks me every single day. That's crazy. Um, another question, <laughs> this is from Janessia. She said, how are we so cute and single? Like, and my only answer to that is, has us hidden right now. Hold on, hold on real quick. Hold on. Um, what are you supposed to be? I just don't know why I'm bringing it. 
okay. Alright. Hey, Tia. Is she froze? No. No. Oh, okay. She's she acting like it. I'm getting off here. I love y'all. Bye. Do your thing. Who's I talking about? Anyway, Janessi said, How are we so cute and single? Like, and the only thing I could say to that is, God has God has us hidden for a reason right now. And I don't know what that reason is. You know what I'm saying? Which is so funny because on my story, I put, you know, this question box and I was like, Guys, ask me questions. And my friends were lighting me up because apparently I'm not single, but I am single. But, you know when they think you have attention from folk they don't think that you're single they're just silly but like for real in real life god had a, has us hidden and this is to every woman that is single right now you are hidden for a reason um do not rush for your season because once it gets here literally it's gonna go so fast that's that's the main thing that i hear everybody say like literally take each day and at a time because it can go like that just be mindful you know to enjoy every season to enjoy every moment every day um and just know that you that girl and when it's your time it's gonna be your time you know I me mean? period um i think i have two more questions yeah okay another friend said what's the hardest part about being single to you um i struggled with this like trying to figure out how to articulate what I want to say without sounding a certain way. So I'm just going to say it and hopefully it comes out right. I don't feel like there's anything hard about being single right now with the mind frame that I have. Um, I'm a person that is a firm believer of um, what is for me is for me, period. And I have a lot of high hopes and high expectations for what it is that God is going to gift me in my spouse um, because of what I feel like I bring to the table for my spouse. Um, so I don't allow just any old thing. I don't um, entertain any old thing. I, I try my hardest to... Um, you know, to walk with valor and to walk with self-respect and self-love. Um, and not that I think that I'm, you know, better than struggle or anything like that. But I think once I shifted my mind from thinking that it's such a bad thing, a bad thing to be single, and my mind just shifted to, okay, whatever is the reason for me not having my husband, I need to figure, like I, I stopped trying to figure out what's that reason and I just started living. And um, l now I, like, yes, I would love a companion. Like I just said, I would love a forever friend. I feel like there's so much life to live. There's, I say this all the time, there's so much money to be made. There's just so many different things that I could be putting my time, my energy and my effort into. Why would I sit there and put it into, oh my gosh, I'm single. That's why I don't even just like, blurt out oh my gosh I'm single like because I don't look at it like that I mean yes I am unattached right now so technically I am single but I don't feel like it's a curse I don't feel like it's something bad if I were to give it an actual answer um to like go along with the video uh I guess would be during the holidays <laughs> Simply put, oh my gosh, no, for real. Like this is funny because I was laughing about it with my cousin, but this past Thanksgiving, every single younger, keyword on younger cousin came in with a boo, including my brother. I was like, you know what? <laughs> God, <laughs> you playing some type of sick joke and I want off this ride, okay? Let's not ha let that happen next, it cannot happen next year. Literally, when I say every cousin came in with a boo, I said, this is crazy. Me and my cousin Alexis was bugging up about it because it's like, okay, Lord, what's going on? Like the, the folks that's on our phone is not at our dinner party tonight. So like, what's what's going on? You know what I'm saying? What's, seriously, during the holidays, like you wanna be booed up. You know what I'm saying? So you can go flex with your family, you know what I'm saying? Take you pictures da 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 ba 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 but yeah when you're single 
I'm, I took pictures with my dog. <laughs> I took pictures with Sophia, so. Um, yeah, I would just love to replace taking pictures with Sophie, with my man. And Sophia in it next time. Okay, Sophia? <laughs> I hope that answers y'all's questions. That was um, all the questions I want to do for right now. I want to try to split them up um, so I can have some when Janessia comes and does a video with me. But I hope that made a lot of sense. Um, I love you guys so much. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, remember that even if you're single, you're still lit. And you need to live life. Don't think that your life starts once you're married. Or don't think your life starts once you have a man. Your life been started, babes. So catch up. You know what I'm saying? Get with the program. You know, live life, travel, eat good food, meet new people, talk to boys, okay? You can literally have guy friends and girlfriends and legit be cool. That's another thing that we're gonna talk about. Like, do you know when a friendship with, in parentheses, a guy, cause she's a girl. How do you know when uh, a, f a friendship with a person is about to turn into a relationship or if you should just leave it alone. We're gonna talk about that, okay? Because boy, 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 do I have a story time for you. Just kidding. Well, no, I do. But we're gonna talk about that next time. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in to Tea Talk. Um, this was part one of a probably three part series, but we'll see. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy Vlogmas Day 10, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye! I just want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New